This is Goldie with Low Vision Chef. Today we're going to try doing a pasta fresh. Oakley has an opinion about that. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the burner on to heat, preheat my pan. And I'm going to listen for the clicking. And I want it to go high because I've got a saute pan and I want it to be nice and hot. I want to preheat that pan for a minute. While I'm, while I'm doing that, I'm going to show you how to remove the um, shrimp tails from the shrimp. This is a 50 to 60 count um, peeled and deveined shrimp. It's already cooked, so all we're really going to do today is heat everything up. So you want to take your shrimp. I left two right here on top, and I can feel the tails because they're very hard. Okay, so I left the two on top just to show you that all you have to do is just, I have rubber gloves on, and I just take, I feel, and I just pop the tail right off. Take it and put it right into my scrap tap. I'll find the other one just by feeling. I know I left two right on the top that weren't, the tail wasn't removed. And then just squeeze it right off, squeezing all the meat out of the inside. That's the easiest way to do them after they've been washed marinated and uh, they're already peeled and deveined they're cooked they're ready to go all we have to do is heat them up so I drain the marinade off them now they're ready to go I'm going to use a just a standard olive oil not an extra virgin because I'm cooking with it and I'm going to about uh, two counts of oil there I hit my pan now I'm going to heat up my olive oil the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to put my shrimp I need some pasta done today so we can knock this out quickly. I have some blanched carrot sticks, julienne, a big julienne. I have some raw, just tiny bits of uh, asparagus cut up. I have some blanched uh, broccoli. I'm going to put that all in the pan and get it going. Then I'm going to take a little bit of garlic. I have my garlic ground in the little garlic, garlic zoom, thank you. Anyway, and I'm just going to take a little smidge of garlic and put it in there with it. Okay, while I'm doing that, I'm going to take your, I have a sauce prepared for it, but along with that, I'm just, while I've got my garlic zoom open, I'm just going to take a little bit of garlic and put a little bit of garlic into the sauce I'm going to show you how to make also. Okay, and I'm going to take this raw, whoa, raw broccoli, some raw broccoli florets in pieces, and I just have cold water on it. Okay, I'm going to take it to the microwave. I'm going to put it in the microwave for one minute. We're just going to blanch it, then I'm going to throw it in a cold ice bath. Meanwhile, I'm going to go over here, and if you could toss, toss, if you can't, Use a nice spatula. Flip it around. Okay, now that's been in there for about a minute. I'm going to throw in my pasta. This is just a penny pasta. When I made pasta about probably five days ago, I cooked a little bit of extra pasta. I drained it really well. A little olive oil on it if you want. You can put it in the freezer. Keep it in the fridge if you think you're going to use it for about within the next five days. Keep it so you've got another dish to set aside for another time. Nice mise en place. Mise en place, by the way, since I keep saying that word today, means to put in place. So you want to put that in place for your next meal, saving yourself a lot of trouble. Let me give this a toss around again. All you're really doing is heating these items back up nicely. I hear the buzzer go off in the back of my head over here. Let me get my broccoli. Now very carefully, take your broccoli, take it, pour it right into your ice bath. Now I have a bowl here. I have ice in it and a colander and I'm ice bathing it. Pull that broccoli down. Same thing I did with the carrots. I just wanted to show you. Then you let that drain, and that's how I did that. I used to be a heck of a saute cook until I got my arm crushed. Anyway, so 
So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of sauce. It's ready for that. I smell it. The aroma is real nice and strong. You're going to have to smell that it's done. Now, it's your choice as to how much you want to put in there. Got the little sauce in there. Sun-dried tomato. You can use Alfredo. You can do a combination of sun-dried tomato and Alfredo. Or a pesto, which is just uh, garlic and garlic and pine nuts, or I use walnuts. Flip that around in there. The sauce of your choice, just put the amount of your choice in there. And you've got a nice, healthy dinner. Okay? This actually is probably good and done, but I, what I want to do is show you how to make this sauce. I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it on a plate here. And you can see nice al dente vegetables, a nice bread on the side, which I'll show you how to make in another video. Put a little bit of basil on the side. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. I've got some shredded Parmesan cheese over here. Sprinkle over top if you like. And that's a beautiful meal. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to finish. I'm going to show you how to do basil. Now I've gone over herb herbs a little bit with you before. We like herbage around this house. I grow my own. My basil isn't real big. It's baby. So it's a little bit more complicated for me to roll. So I'm kind of feeling to pull all my leaves in together. We're going to give this a nice chiffonade. Okay, which means just cutting it into strips. So I take it and I make a roll. Again, holding it down, keeping my knuckles. Don't ever pull your eye, knife up too far. And then just put your hand on the top and continue. However fine you'd like that. Okay, kind of push that aside. Here I have a little bit of, uh, I don't want to do too much oregano. We're not doing a real big item here. A um, little tiny bit. It's only a half of a can of diced tomatoes, okay, with a little bit of garlic in it. So this is fresh oregano I picked off my plant. Just a little bitty one. You can tear this, actually you can take this apart with your hand, but otherwise you can just take it. Give it a little mince. Actually I could take all this thyme that I've got up here, which I pulled off by hand. You can rub it. Do it by hand, or if you want to, pull it together with your oregano. Keep your hand up here so your hand is always out of the way. And you can hear your knife go through. Just listen. Use your ears. Just like we did to hear the pan oh, come on. The burner, the heat. Keeping your hand in a fist up on top of your knife. Keeping your knife blade low and your base of your knife, your front of your sotu santuco knife. <laughs> that one always gets me. Keeping the base of your Santuco knife always on the cutting board so you can't get your fingers underneath it. Anyway, put a little bit of the basil over top of that. Take this. Scrape it. I'm going to shove my board back. I've got my purple board, so I don't want to shove as easy. Put that right in there. Okay. Then we're going to give just a couple grinds of pepper. Hit it with a little bit of salt. And I want to give, because I'm not going to cook this, not a lot, just heating it up. I'm going to give it about a teaspoon, tablespoon, I'm sorry, of uh, extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm just going to take it. God gave you the best tool. Squish them tomatoes. And there you go. As you can, the fresh herbs, they add a lot of vitamins also. There we go. All mixed up. Give it a taste. Always taste your items. Mmm, perfect. And there's a nice dressing for my next pasta meal. You have a great day and keep cooking. Thank you.